great oratory allows transparency. The truth should be told, not sold. So unlearn and relearn progress of death, BCC Ministries. Um, I wanted to talk about um, what um, when people um, meet people and interact with people. And because um, I've noticed that um, people down here in Jamaica, they're always in um, in a defense mechanism. They're always worried about somebody disappointing them or breaking their heart or whatever the case may be. But um, the jewel I got for you and and for the person you're with is, is don't worry about a person letting you down and keep a def defense mechanism because keeping a defense mechanism it takes a lot of energy. Like you always gotta be on point and catch your feelings and worry about your feelings. That is not about development or improvement. What you should be worried about is what that person is bringing to you and what you're bringing to that person. Because once you and that person are uplifting each other, then you won't worry about that person disappointing you because all that person brings to you is value. All that person does around you is uplift you. If you're around a person that's lowering you or pulling you down as you're going up, those are the people that you should defend yourself against. And and it really doesn't make sense for you to defend yourself against a person like that because you shouldn't be with a person like that. You shouldn't be with them. Correct? So once you, once you have those thoughts or feelings inside of you, then you should want to just work on yourself then. If you always felt or feel like you're being disappointed by people all the time or people are letting you down that means you're attracting a certain type of element to your life and a certain energy to your life that means your life isn't right that means you're not where you want to where you want to be mentally or financially or whatever the case may be you're insecure with yourself so whenever you meet people you think they're going to disappoint you so you need self-improvement you need self-improvement because once you're improved and once you're on your square creating your circle, guess what's going to happen? Guess what's going to happen? People not even going to want to come around you with bad energy because they see you on your movement. They see you grinding and you're going to pick up on the people that's doing the same things. So it's all about you. You're the one that's off. If you're constantly thinking about people disappointing you, constantly thinking about, oh, I don't trust nobody. I was the same way too. I was the same way too. And, 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 and and the people that you're letting around you is creating those doubts. And you constantly have a circle of people that's coming around you, soaking up your energy, soaking up your resources, soaking up your currency, soaking up your time. And you're letting them do that. And then you're going to say, oh, I don't trust nobody. You know, people got to prove themselves to me. No, they don't got to prove nothing to you. Prove it to yourself because I'm going to repeat it. Once you prove it to yourself and accomplish things for yourself and have people around you that's helping yourself or helping you and you're helping them of course you're gonna help them because you are uplifting yourself once you're uplifting yourself you will help others because others will follow you others even if you're not helping them in a in a physical way mentally they're inspired by you they're inspired by you so they're watching you you don't understand like people watch people even with social media People are watching and watching and watching. And they're, and they're soaking up your spirit. Like me, perfect example. Since I've been in Jamaica, no barber out here can't say that that's around me, that they didn't learn nothing from me or they didn't soak up some of my new uh, uh, style or my American style. And people think that's, that's all American barbers. No, it's not all American barbers. All of them ain't professional. It's just me. It's what I bring to the table. So whatever I bring is me. So people are watching me and soaking up things from me and learning from me and adding it to their game. And I'm going to do the same if they can do that for me. But I know what I bring to the table. I know my value as a barber. I know my value as a man. And I know my value as a whole individual spirit. So I'm not allowing certain people around me consciously, subconsciously and physically and mentally, you know? Once you build yourself up, those people bouncing off your force field, they're gonna come towards you and just bounce off of it. Like, whoa, whoa, this dude got a shield around them. How do I get around that? But how do they get around that? They have to build themselves 
And they're not gonna be able to do that because your level of value is way higher than theirs. Your level of spirituality is way higher than theirs. So they can't even have a conversation with you. 